So in this example, we're going to show how to use MyHDL to create a sign generator, or, and then how to uh, take that sign generator, which is already in a uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, and create a RTL circuit synthesis in Xilinx Vivado 2016.1. Alright, so over here here in the repository of PyL cards are Python UberHDL subfolder for MyHDL digital signals and systems. Uh, so we have a Jupyter Notebook for a sine wave generator. This is based off an original example all in the old MyHDL site by Harsa off Lucid, which you can find here. So I've, in this notebook, I've add, added some derivation. You can read through it about how all these Chebyshev polynomials work to create the sine generator. Later. Over here is actually the definition of the sine generator, which will be translated into Verilog or VHDL. In this case, we'll be using Verilog. Now, important thing to notice is this statement right here. It means that the internal width, which is used to set at the size of all the registers, is actually based off the signal, the sign value out, which for this notebook, or an example I'll show you, is a 30-bit uh, bit vector. However, by to change the sign value out down to 16 bits, it's everything would automatically adapt out during the synthesis. It is to Verilog, uh, which cuts out a lot of work, work and error. So I can write this test bench engine here. You can see I collected the data. It, uh, uh, I show uh, what the signal all coming out, out of the test bench and compared to a NumPy I equivalency. The, I did the Fourier transforms. You can see e where the frequencies are. are. It's exactly like every singles and systems book will tell you. But over here is we have the RTL synthesis. So I specify I the sine frequency that I want. Right. And then I specify the clock frequency of the board, board which then gets cal calculated to clock period, because I copy paste. Now my bit width is, which is the bit vector size, is 30 bits. Hits. So uh, the sign value is generated based on that. At at these signals are actually just booleans, and by using the two Verilog statement, I create a Verilog file. I uh, I'll. Oh, that shows that. As you can see, the down here, this is the Verilog file syntax. Now, I'm going to go over er, and pull out, out the sign generator file, but first let's go to Vivado, can create a new project. Next, I'm just going to create this wherever, wherever RTL. I'm not going to add any files at the moment. I'm not going to add existing IPs. I'm not going to add any constraints. Uh, just for ease of use, I'm going to over here use a digilint arty. Just grab this, it's just for show. And I'm initializing the project. Now, what I'm going to do is go over here, uh, here on the flow navigator under add sources and go add create sources. This. I'm going to, go to add files. Those. I'm going to I'll copy this, go to the sign generator.v, add that, finish. And, and as you see, it's added out of that Verilog file which we've translated from the MyHDL L code in the notebook. Right. So now I'm going to go down to RTL analysis, go to elaborate settings, and go to schematic. What this is going to do is create a schematic based off this sign generator in a Verilog file. Give it a minute. And here you can see the schematic, which I've made a copy of this and put it in the notebook. Now, you can go oh, to create a block design. All right. All right. So this block design is empty. In a future video, I'll show you how to add the sign generator created to a, to a pink board. Or, but for right now, let's just show you how to add this. This. Is just as is. So I right click, add module, 
Oh, there's my sign generator. Hit OK. And so without having to create an IP block, uh, I've just created a basic RTL uh, block uh, that I can add, add to my uh, uh, IP block uh, diagram. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Bye.